on the program today. The first one is by Haydn, and uh, it's a full string quartet, four movements. And the second one is by Mendelssohn, and there's a sort of odd connection between these composers, because Haydn died in the same year that Mendelssohn was born. Uh, other than that, there's no connection. <laughs> they write in very different styles. Uh, the Haydn quartet that we're going to play is one of his later works. It's an opus 77, number one. Opus means book number, so this is presumably the 77th piece that he wrote. And actually, he was have thought to have written something like 83 string quartets. Now it's been reduced to about 63 or four string quartets because some of the earlier pieces have been proven to be by different composers other than Haydn. But that's still a heck of a lot of string quartets. Um, I've heard of two groups of players who decided to play them all back to back at one point, not taking any rest for anything. That's why they needed two groups. And it took them something like three and a half days, solid 24 hours a day playing to get through all of them. Um, Haydn is known as the father of the string quartet. Somewhere along the line in the last 200 years, he got that name. We're not sure why, but probably because he was the person who really developed the idea of a string quartet to its highest level. And after Haydn died, of course, people kept writing string quartets, and they are still writing them to this very day. Um, this piece has four movements, which is the usual thing for string quartets. The first movement is fast. There's the little pause after the set first movement, then you have the second movement, which is slow. The third movement is a minuet, and the fourth movement is fast. And it is customary not to applaud between movements, so if you can, um, please restrain yourself until the end of the four movements are over. Um, if you're not sure when that is, just watch the person next to you. <laughs> Thank you. 
everybody loves about Haydn is he's invariably very cheerful and he had a job as a court composer he worked for a prince and now that it's 250 years later the only reason that we know that prince's name is because Haydn was at his court uh, Haydn was considered a servant and his job was to write music and produce music for the prince um, now we come to Mendelssohn, and Mendelssohn is an altogether different uh, kind of writer of music. He lived in the early Romantic period, that is the early part of the 19th century. And one thing that he's really very well known for is a kind of fairy-like music. Very light, very um, delicate. You'll hear that in at least two of the movements of this quartet that we're playing. This is a very early work of his. He was one of these incredible geniuses uh, that in, in whom genius showed very early in life. Mozart was the other person who was like that. Mozart showed genius from the time he was three or four years old, and Mendelssohn was pretty close to that. One of Mendelssohn's greatest pieces he wrote when he was 17 years old. This particular quartet he wrote when he was 20. It makes you wonder, what have I done lately? But uh, he was just one of those incredible people. Uh, unfortunately, he had a very short life. He died in his 30s. His sister, who was very, also a very talented composer and musician, uh, died within the same six months uh, period of, of, of Mendelssohn, of a, her brother's death. And um, so they had a very tragic, tragically short life. So this uh, piece also has four movements. This, third and the fourth movement are played <coughs> within a very short period of each other. They're, they're, it's marked attacka, which means go right on to the next one.
Quartets belong to the general category of chamber music. Chamber music meaning music that was meant for a room rather than a large concert hall. Um, the unique thing about chamber music is that every person plays his or her own part as opposed to in an orchestra where if you're a violin player, you're playing the same part as perhaps even 30 other people. And there's safety in numbers, of course, so this is much more, everybody has to be really on their toes because nobody is playing your part along with you. Uh, string quartets is one type of chamber music, but there are many other combinations. 
And one of the very favorite ones is a piano quintet. So we have a string quartet plus a piano. And we're going to play one movement of a piano quintet by, quintet by Johannes Brahms. Brahms was a late 19th century composer. Um, at times when you listen to the piece, you feel that he really would love to have an orchestra here instead of five players because it's so expansive, so huge that he almost can't keep it within the bounds of five people. But five people is what it's really for. And uh, so this is the first movement of Brahms' Piano Quintet, Opus 34.